Hey, what's up, fam? DJ Cam. We're chilling on a, a Sunday afternoon right here at the park. Um, just getting some fresh air. Had a nice run this morning. Yo, what's up, fam? DJ Cam, back with another episode. All right, so I have the big question. You've been in your room practicing. Are you ready? Are you able? Are you ready for that crowd, for that club, for that event, that Sweet 16, that wedding, that quinceanera, that backyard boogie? Rule number one, how I started was be honest with yourself. Honesty within yourself is going to go a long way. You're going to know when you're ready, when you feel yourself getting better and you hear your mixes and it's starting to sound to the stuff you're hearing on the radio or the clubs or the bars or other events. When you start noticing the mixing techniques and all the specifics from other DJs and, you, and, and, and your sounds the same, that's when in my opinion you're ready. So, you know, there's a few things that I like to do or which I did to make sure to, to tell me when I'm ready. Uh, first of all is, is, is being honest with yourself, but more importantly, practice, practice, practice. Um, how long have you been practicing? Are you, are you an overnight DJ um, thinking you're the best one out there and you just got a controller, you just got um, you know, some, some tables? You've been in the game for a while, are you, you know? Be a harsh critic within yourself. That is the only true way of, of identifying if, if you're ready. Um, listen to your mixes um, and, and be cognizant of that. Um, also, another, another angle to this is, is equipment nowadays. Uh, currently, I use a DJM 909 mixer, the mixer that DJ Jazzy Jeff used for years. Uh, but I have my eyes on the new Pioneer S9. So although I love the 909, the S9 has new technology to it. It has a lot more crisp, in my opinion, uh, flares in and out. Um, it's, it's an all-in-one mixer. It does a whole lot of stuff. And I'm hearing a lot of these, these DJs at these bars and events using these, these tricks on the S9. So technology does have a play in it, you know? And are you up on that level? Or, or are you using some old school 1990s uh, Newmark battle mixer that doesn't have a good buttery crossfader. Um, how do you expect to get good if, if quite honestly you're using older technology? So something to think about. Um, another, another way of I guess identifying if you're ready is record yourself. What I like to do being that I'm a Mac user is use, is use GarageBand. Um, you can ask my wife, my sister-in-law. Mixes I do, I hit record, I play them back immediately and I'm a big critic of myself. If it isn't stuff that I could, you know, hear on Sirius, Satellite, uh, The Heat, or Shady, or, you know, or the radio, I'm, I'm not happy. I, I, I make mental notes of it, and, you know, it's always a, it's always a process of improving with DJing. Um, yes, there's certain uh, levels that you, you know, at a minimum you need to hit to do events. Backyard Boogie with family, you don't need to be a, the best DJ you know, the, the Red Bull three style champion to do something like that. But um, uh, going back to my point though, GarageBand for Mac users, another free program that a lot of people use is Audacity. Um, these two, you use the internal mic from your, your mixer and you press record and, and it records everything. You play it back and edit, you could adjust the volumes. It's really good um, to use for you to listen to your music. You know, I like to upload them. If it's good, I'll upload them to my website. I'll save them on my phone. I'll forward little snippets to family and friends. Hey, I'm messing around. What do you think? And I'll get honest feedback that way. Um, last case scenario, use your cell phone to get audio. Um, the iPhone has one of, one of the best internal uh, sound cards for a phone uh, before you start upgrading into, you know, all these shotgun mics and, and, you know, lapel microphones and all this fancy stuff. But use what you have. Um, think about your situation and use what you have to listen to, you know, how you sound. Um, so listen, record, send videos, 
send little snippets to friends and family. Social media is huge. I cannot express it enough. SoundCloud, MixCloud, uh, Facebook Live, Instagram Live, utilize these, these sources. People will give you honest feedback. Um, and also, you can check out your competition. Let's, let's, quite on, let's be honest. Um, you want to see how you know, there's always new scratches and techniques coming about with new technologies such as the S9 Mixer. Uh, keep your ear to the street. Um, also, your personal website. If you don't have one, might be a good idea to get it. Um, like I do on mine, precisiondjservices.com. Every now and then, boom, I'll upload a mix to it for you know my clients and for my audience to see. I try to link all my accounts. So regardless of which one you go to, you're going to run into social media. Um, not just one, but it's going to link you to all of them. So utilize that. We're in a different age now. A lot of people are blowing up utilizing this, this technology. Um, but more important, importantly, use it for honest feedback for your mixing. Um, friends and family. Friends and family is where I started. I think everyone did. Uh, backyard boogies, you know, sister-in-law birthday parties, so on and so forth. They're going to they're gonna have your back. They're going to encourage you. This is where you start. This is where you get good. Um, this is where you learn to read the crowd. At least I did. Um, so you might have to do it for free. Friend down the block, a birthday party, whatever it is. You might have to do a few of them for free before you make a name for yourself. But it's going to be worth it because it's going to get this snowball rolling for your career. Trust me. Just you're going to have to make the transition from I'm, I hit my minimal standard in the bedroom. Let's do this and have the confidence to go out there and do it. Uh, people are going to be blown away by just you showing up with your equipment. Let's be honest. Uh, the shock and awe factor for my turntables, SO1200s and my speakers and my subwoofer, all this and that. People are blown away by just me showing up, let alone, you know, rocking the crowd on the dance floor all night. So. Um, we're professionals at we, what we do. Let it come out and have fun with it. You know what I mean? Have fun with what we do. Um, so my last caveat to, uh, I guess, knowing if you're ready um, is, is, is utilize the DJ pools with the most up-to-date music. Um, currently, I'm using uh, mymp3pool.com, something like that. Um, I used a few other, BPM Supreme, DJ City, Funkmaster Flex's, uh, what's that one? Um, damn, I can't franchise DJ. Everyone's, every diff, every, everyone's good for a reason. Um, like Funkmaster Flex's, I, I rated that site for like 80s, 90s, like golden age hip hop. This new one I'm on, um, it has up to date stuff. So just remember, if you're the DJ at an event and someone comes up and there's a crowd and they're, they're making requests for this new stuff they're hearing, on social media, a lot of times going live, dropping like this, you might be a day behind. You might be hours behind of you know what people are requesting. So it's very important to stay up to date with music because, again, that music, the new stuff, the new Drake and and, and you know Cardi B and Migos who are killing it right now and all that underground stuff. You put that on the dance floor on prime time hour, and it's gonna rock the crowd. Now, if you don't have it. You're in, you're in a different you're in a different gamut. You see what I mean? So keep your music up to date. Know your music. I know TLM says this a lot. I know uh, LX Star. What up? Shout out to uh, DJ LX Star on the East Coast. What up, my boy? Um, know your music. So you have always have that in your back pocket at your back in your back pocket. Um, and that's why practice makes perfect because that's what we as DJs default to from our practice. So. I'm going to make this short and sweet, fam. Um, if you have any questions, just please drop them down below. If you haven't done so already, you've heard it before, please like and subscribe. Uh, practice, practice, practice. Um, good luck to everybody. Stay in there. Um, always concentrate on being the best version of yourself. And until the next time, it's DJ Cam. Peace.